I rap stuff. I deliver that stuff. None of your nice is the Jingle Grumps. Quill. Quill, quill, quill. Let's do it. All right, I got it. Oh, it's oh, that's my your room. room. Okay. Oh, fuck it. I can't do my own laundry. <laughs> I gotta get the servant to do it. You are the servant. <laughs> then I close the door and open it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Drew, professional servant here. Oh, All right, is this the do not disturb? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go into Lou Talbot's room. I think it. Oh man, this place is a fucking shit stop. Yeah, we gotta clean this shit up. Come on, it's Lou. Locked. Fucking have some respect for your stealth. Damn. Your stealth. Uh, let's look through his shit. Yeah, obviously. Nice photo book. <gasps> he likes wolves. He's a, he's a wolf owner. Oh my god, you're right. I wasn't looking at that sideways. I thought it was a seal. <laughs> I, I got confused. I like seals because the sound they make is ort ort ort. <laughs> that is kind of cute. Uh, is there anything I can do? Oh, make, make bed. Wow, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best. Fix those towels. Boom, done. <laughs> Take. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna use with dirty towels for? You're just like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wow. You're good. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, it's Yanni's room. I'm gonna go inside. Turn, Turn the, the dial. dial to what the colors. fuck does that mean? I'm just go in going. there. Yeah, I'm gonna. Who gives going. a shit? He's kalaka locking in there. Uh, if any one thing is out of place in my room, so help me God, I will fuck you! Wh uh... Up! <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful day, our conversation was very great. Yeah. <laughs> Up! <laughs> Whatever, dude, I know you're not fucking coming in here while we're in here. They wouldn't build an animation <laughs> for that, for yeah. this game. Um, Locked, okay. I think that's all I can do in here. Uh, make his bed and take his towels. Is that it? Is that all you do as a maid? Guess so. What about removing the fucking pile of condoms from the room? Oh, sorry, that's if it was my room. <laughs> <laughs> Have uh, you ever had that, like, where you stay in a hotel with someone and, like, well, I guess it would be Susie, but, like, you know, you just have basically like a weekend long fuck fest, and then like there's n like the room is exactly as it was when you arrived, except the bed is unmade, and there's like a fucking mountain of condoms in the in the uh, in the thing, and you're just like, oh man, she's gonna this is gonna be weird for her. I usually like I, I usually like wrap them up in toilet paper and throw them in the garbage so the fucking. Oh. Cause I don't want the maid to have to like pick it up. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a lot of hotels that like don't use bags in their trash cans. Oh yeah. So I don't want it to get like jizzy. Fucking oh dude, no, no, no. Fused to I, the bottom. I fucking <coughs> I I I use the condom and then I leave the semen-filled condom <laughs> dangling from the shower head. <laughs> <laughs> In every hotel I go to, <laughs> then you just wake up like, <gasps> oh, morning, baby. <laughs> What's up? I I just mash him up into the ceiling. Ooh, whoa! He fucking made it on the cover of Biathlon Biennial. <laughs> <laughs> Fredonian freaks out the competition. Oh man, you're a freak. You're a Fredonian freak. <laughs> what? So there's somebody in here that's like stalking him. Oh, right. I his guess. fears were founded. Yeah. Who's, whose room is this? Uh, I guess I'll ch take his towels and smell it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Bill Friedos. I picked up his scent. Uh, so that's Bill Kessler's room. Right, he's the one so who likes to pish pish. this is Guadalupe Camillo's room. Oh, damn. Is that a woman? I don't know. Guadalupe is a woman's name. I guess so. Um, I'm going to... Maybe she just has a schoolgirl crush. I'm gonna dispose of... Towels. There you go. Laundry bag. Nice. Nailed it. Dude, I fucking did it. Also, yeah. I have an inventory? Yeah. God, look how many spaces you have. Master key. This game is ridiculous. Wait, what does the master key do? Does it open up the, the closets? Oh shit, get get back into those rooms oh, and rifle through yeah. their shit. I wanna fucking see what's going on with these people. Ina! <laughs> Ina. Yeah. Bam, baby! What the fuck kind of master key is this? Maybe you have to get it right in there. Right uh, in the lock. Okay. Whoops. Master key. I think... Nope. But you, <laughs> you gave it the old college try, and All I right. appreciate that. How about my closet key? Huh. 
Well, some fucking master key. Wait, what is this case file? Oh, it's this shit. All right, cool. Check check out the other one. Go oh, maybe that'll one? remind us what we're supposed to be fucking doing. Current assignment: Head to high school, crease a lot. Well, can't do that. We're there. Oh, that's where I'm. Okay. <laughs> the woman who runs the lodge, Chantal Moik. Boy, she looks just like that cowboy guy. <laughs> Called me out of the blue, saying, "Bet and Ed Rodley from Shadow Ranch had recommended me." She sounded so desperate I couldn't refuse. She was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers, so okay. her handyman Ollie Randall will pick me up at the airport. Next page. That's it. That's it? That's all I've got. That's your assignment? <laughs> just go to a hotel? Not much of a sleuth, really. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm just playing at it. How you being the fucking maid? <laughs> maybe, this, maybe this game is all just about a crazy person, and yeah, she just actually she... is the maid. I'M A DETECTIVE! <laughs> 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 I'm solving a crime! Wait, have you been in the restroom? I don't believe you have. Yeah, I took a piss and oh, then I came you? out. Oh, that's right. Um, so I did everyone's laundry. Uh, God, this fucking music. Maybe that means I can go outside now. Nope. Nope. Okay. Almost. Almost made it. <laughs> I almost did it, okay. Uh... Boop, boop. I, I, I fucking, I don't know, fucking, let's browse Reddit. Yeah, you're like, who's the concierge around here? And then you, like, run to the other side of the desk. I'll help you. <laughs> Check that notepad. Oh, I should make a call, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, I'll call Oh, Tino yeah, T Tino Balducci. The phone is ringing. Hola! Hey, this is Tino. You got my stuff? Yeah, you want someone fucking dead? <laughs> Show up on caller ID. <laughs> That's a new thing that came out this year. <laughs> Remember me? From that case we solved together on the train? I'm the one who helped you find that long lost trick. Yeah, that I I'm I, not sure helped is the right word, Mr. Baldu. I always forget people who helped me find long lost treasure. <laughs> in fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. So I killed the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you got a fucking rat on me? Yeah. Ancient history. The guy's family is like, like a year older now. <laughs> Looks like. Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm working on something that'll pretty much crack this case wide open. But in the meantime, it's a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what you want to do: soak the steak. <laughs> In steak sauce. In the Worcestershire sauce. For at least 30 <laughs> seconds. Then put it on the fryer. So help me God, if you let that corn linger on the stove. <laughs> it's you're gonna burn the corn. All right, you got that? I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, how do you know I'm Chantal? I'm curious. How do you know Chantal? I fucked her. <laughs> friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. <laughs> I've never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> We're all six degrees of separation from somebody. How many clients do you have? I have enough. <laughs> yeah. Thirty of foot. Enough, enough, enough. Yeah. Next thing you know, climb out the wazoo. Oh, my wazoo is killing me. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? What? Those are the same thing. Nope, I'm good. Oh. Well, Chantel hired me to be a proposal, so you know where to find me. Arrived, Dirty. Oh, that's very suspicious. What that he said, Arrivederci. Yeah, but his name is fucking Balducci. But his also also his name is Tino, so he could also be Spanish, going undercover as an Italian. Listen, I'm just I'm clutching at straws here. We, we don't have much to go on. <laughs> I'm gonna call Chantal. <laughs> friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. <laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> Hello, hi Chantal. It's Nancy Drew. You know who's behind the accident? Jesus, fucking calm your tits. Yet. Oh. About Tino, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of consulting with him on this case. He killed a man. Why not? Two heads are always better than one, <laughs> and I find him to be very knowledgeable and kind of charming. <laughs> That's flashback to, I fucked her! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I stuck it in her. <laughs> <laughs> I poked her! Twice! <laughs> I mean, whatever. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a charmer! <laughs> Do you know... Yeah, whatever. Do you know what he did when we were on that train trip Lori Gerard arranged? He found lost treasure. <laughs> into a lot of detail, but he did say that that's all water under the bridge. In I fact, know. Yeah, he, he drowned a guy <laughs> in the water <laughs> under the bridge. <laughs> you ask Tino to help you out. 
That's what I'm paying him for. Agreed? Agreed. Good. Now do the dishes. Yeah, Jesus. I'd like to know more about the accidents. I'd like to know more about the accidents. I asked Ollie, but he said you said he wasn't allowed to talk. He about said you said, said that he said that what he thought was what you thought. He <laughs> said that you, you said. He said you're totally going out. <laughs> Second was the best. <laughs> Third was the one with the hairy, hairy chest. Oh. I, I told Becky, look at her butt. And she was like, oh my God. <laughs> Roughly the same time. Said they ate some kind of steak and corn. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. Becky, and look <laughs> at her butt. <laughs> anyway, it's so <laughs> big. Carl came down the stairs outside and broke his leg. Then Lou Talbot's window was broken. Then Elsa the maid's tires were slashed. Then the phone wires were cut. <laughs> and, and then Bobby <laughs> told me that he didn't want to go out with me. <laughs> and <laughs> then I went roller skating anyway. <laughs> so who's suing you? <laughs> so who's suing you? <laughs> no one yet. But oh, my lawyers man. are afraid it's just a matter of time and are trying to figure out what preventative measures to take. Uh, all right. Uh, you Is know it what? Is true that you promised oh. Ollie a raise, but you haven't given We're it to gonna... him yet? Yeah. He told you that? I can't believe it. Meaning... Hold on, let's put a pause on this. Yeah, so again, yeah, yeah, we're going to fucking continue this madness because at first... When, all right, I'll be honest with you guys. When we played the first episode, we were like, this has one more episode in it, Max. <laughs> and now I am... Like a thousand percent totally emotionally is. invested in this plot. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this journey, loveliest. We adore you. Uh, see ya. Holy crap. This game reminds me of um The Last Express. What does that mean? It's a it's a PC game that was rotoscoped. Um, but it's 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 like a murder mystery on a train. Mm -hmm. And it's just like this. Oh man, it's so weird and goofy and great.